Hey, it's Dougie Woods. I'm a Microsoft MVP as I've been working with SharePoint for almost 20 years. And I've been sharing my knowledge with you via my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you some of the hidden secrets about SharePoint templates. Now, there's a bunch of free templates that you can use. So directly inside of SharePoint Online, once you go into the SharePoint area, you'll see this, this Create Site uh, button. And that will actually give us two different types of um, SharePoint site templates that we can create from. We have team sites and we have communication sites. So explain first, so team sites essentially are for tracking and staying up to date on project statuses, sharing team resources and co-author content, all site owners and members publish uh, site content and connect to Microsoft 365 products. So things like Microsoft Teams, for example, uh, as well as Planner. Um, or we've got communication sites, which is basically for sharing information that engages a broad audience, creating a portal or subject focused site, engaging dozens or thousands of viewers uh, and few content authors and many site visitors. The easiest way to explain this is team sites are for like internal collaboration of a team or a department, whereas communication sites are for publishing information to the wider organization. So let's say, for example, the HR department would likely have a team site and a communication site. A team site would be an area that they would be working on documents together. Um, so maybe they're working on the latest kind of policies or benefits, uh, things like that for their employees. And then the communication site that they have is for them publishing that information for everyone else to be able to access. So I'm going to quickly go over the team sites uh, templates, and then I'm going to look over the communication site templates, because there's a few more of those in there. So under team sites in here, there's a whole bunch of different templates that you could use to get yourself started. Now, by default, it's just a standard team, which is basically just a blank slate. There's not a huge amount in there. But there's a whole bunch of other scenarios and other types of pre-built templates that you can use straight off the bat. So we have things like this create communication team, uh, sorry, create uh, crisis communication team, which is essentially if there was something that was going wrong. Um, it's a centralized point for all kind of communications, resources, and best practices. We actually saw this came out, um, I think it's actually pre-COVID era. I think there was it was when there was a, a very bad weather related event in the US. And there was a lot of organizations which were trying to stay in touch with um, people, even though that their, their lives have been completely torn apart and they're all over the place. It was a way that they could offer resources, help, support, guidance, things like that for their um, organization. Um, then we've got employee onboarding team. So this is more um, for kind of like new starters and things like that to be, to be onboarded into the organization. Event planning. So if you have a project management team, if you have an event management team, this is a fantastic area. And actually by clicking on a template, you can drill into it and not only see just a bit of a mock-up example of what it would look like after you deploy it, but it'll also tell you the site capability. So in this scenario, we've got manage event coordination details, tracking publisher dates, highlight current and past event information, user pre-built status report pages, user pre-built event recap pages. We can also see what's included. So if I was to deploy this and use this template, I'll get a home page, two additional pages, a list, two page templates, and enhanced uh, by Power Automate as well. So you've got this as a whole package that's built for you um, that you can use straight away. Other types of team templates, so have IT help desk. Now this is fantastic, obviously, for like internal use. Um, now actually this particular design, I think the team site has actually been set up in a way that it's it's realistically, although it's maintained by the IT department, it's also being used to be shared for everyone else to be able to see and access. Now, there might be buttons to say, raise a support ticket, or maybe you've got a list um, of frequently asked questions that people are looking for. How do I request a new laptop? Or how do I um, do X, Y, and Z? And th that's where you could maybe list those there. We can also see upcoming IT um, sort of events. So this might be there's planned outages. Um, there's new software that's being rolled out. There could be all sorts of different things in here. But again, we can see the capabilities. and we can see what's included. But I really like that template. Um, I think that's a fantastic place to start. We also have project management. So I was saying before about event planning. There is also a project management um, version of it. There's retail management, um, and there's also store collaboration. So if you are in the kind of retail industry, these two templates would potentially be a good place for you to, to start off by looking at. 
We've got training courses. So a lot of organizations, especially larger, more enterprise organizations, often have a specific area of training. Maybe it's owned by the learning development department. Um, but this could be an area that you're listing out your training courses, training materials, surveys, questionnaires, things like that that you want people to take. And then we have training design team. So this is maybe uh, maybe the training course is the front end of it. And the training design team is the back end where they're actually working on designing new training materials and new courses together. So these are the team um, site templates. Now, as I say, take it with a pinch of salt. Um, quite often, I like just coming into these templates because it gives me a bit of an idea. Say, for example, I quite like the look of um, this sort of layout here. There's three columns with these three buttons. So there's no harm as well in deploying these templates. Going into edit mode and seeing how they've been constructed, how have they been put together so that you can learn from these designs and basically mock up your own uh, designs later on as well. So that's the team site templates. As I just a quickly recap on that, team sites most of the time are for kind of internal team collaboration. As we've seen, there's a few kind of exceptions to that rule, but when I'm kind of showing my clients all about SharePoint, typically team sites, it's easier to think of it as it's the department's own internal use, whereas a communication site is for, um, and actually communication sites used to be called publishing sites because they're for publishing information to the wider organization. So let's jump in and take a look at some of the templates that we have on, inside of communication sites. So the first is Brand Central. Now this is a fantastic place to showcase the latest brand assets and guidance that you're giving to your organization. Highlight principles and values that influence the organization's brand, feature examples of brand expression in action, and answer frequently asked questions. So you can see here, um, again, some quick access buttons which are taking us to areas. Typically with brand centers, you would often expect to have like things like imagery, maybe some stock um, imagery that you're, you're willing for the whole organization to use without having to seek approval first. Um, maybe there's some presentations, so maybe some pitch decks, some PowerPoint templates, things like that that you want people to, be able to easily access. And maybe some other types of templates as well, Word documents. Um, it's rare, but sometimes Excel templates and things like that as well. There's a whole host of things that you might want to give people access to that they can use, which is all pre-approved. It's all uh, they're ready to use inside the brand center. Again, we've got this crisis management. So the crisis management team site we looked at before potentially could be like, as a internal use of a department who's kind of coming up with things, maybe the operations team and the crisis management um, communication site. It's actually communicating that information out. We then have a department site. So like I was saying before, most departments would have a team site where they are working on documents um, and collaborating with their team members. And then we have the communication site which is actually publishing the information. So a bit of information maybe about who is in the team, what the team gets up to, some quick access links, so things that you can ask the team for or get resources like documents, videos, news articles from that particular department, and maybe even an integration here uh, from like Viva Engage, where we've got a bit more community, posts, question surveys, things like that. So as I say, most departments like IT, finance, HR, uh, learning development, they typically all have their own department sites because they're all giving information to the wider organization. We then have the event template. Now, in the team area, we saw there was an event planning area, which is something that would typically last for quite a long time because that was the, the main area that the team is working on, planning the event and putting all the back end of it into it. But something that is often goes hand in hand with that is a communication site for that specific event. So almost like each event would have its own communication site and that's perfect for kind of raising awareness building some excitement and letting people know that the event exists you can see we could have things like countdown timers maybe some videos um, maybe a little bit of an agenda of what to expect for the event some quick actions some quick links helpful links some people cards so people to get in contact with and also as i say building on the kind of conversations to build that kind of um hype and excitement around the event which is coming up as well as that we've also got human resources so a bit like i was saying about the department site but this is obviously a lot more detailed um you, you can use this as i say if you were planning on having department sites this gives you a lot more kind of meat on the bones straight away so um links to things like employee payroll commission career company employee benefits 
Um, and then a lot of it is more this kind of FAQ. So like other topics, topics by role, maybe. Um, sometimes I've seen things like managers toolkit. So having links which are only for managers um, to access. And I really like this approach as well. And again, as I say, you could just take the design elements of this. You don't have to use it for exactly how it's talking about human resources. You could just take inspiration. So I love this kind of how do I. So like with an FAQ, um, rather than just having um, sort of like high level topics, you can say, how do I, and then if we just zoom in here, find my tax form? How do I take a leave of, uh, leave of absence? How do I prepare for my new job? These are all things which often people are asking those kind of questions and you can answer them in this, how do I, and then give the question in that way. And as I say, maybe link off to more FAQs later on down the line. Maybe have some US holidays, Canada holidays, wherever it is the organization works. You can have um, upcoming uh, holidays that, that you're adhering to or celebrating. Um, there's other types of things as well that you could tag in there. Maybe some um, use this extra area. I don't like having blank spaces, especially in the sidebar. So you'd probably want to fill this. Maybe move, for example, that uh, most recent documents into this area. And maybe rather than most recent documents, it could be the most viewed documents. Or um, there's actually another web part, which is my recently viewed documents. It makes it much easier for people to return to documents that they're previously looking at. So I'd say that's Human Resources. There's Leadership Connect, which is a fantastic template for your senior leadership team to um, be engaging more with employees. Um, this template actually comes with some areas suggesting profile pages and bio sections, as well as a little chat area using uh, Viva Engage as well. Learning Central is more like that kind of learning development kind of portal. Um, I'd say quick links to training guides, materials, videos, things like that. New employee onboarding. So like that team site we're looking at before was probably more for the HR team who are responsible for employee onboarding to be working together and talking about things, making sure things are in place. The new employee onboarding is more for the actual end employee themselves as they come on board. What can they expect to find? Certain information about the leadership team, their department, what to expect on their first day. All of those different things are kind of built into the types of templates we see here in SharePoint. Organization homepage. So this is almost like a free example of an internet homepage. Um, I quite like internet homepages with a kind of, I say, this kind of split of kind of content on the right hand side and content in the middle. Maybe this could be a slideshow, have some news, some buttons, things like that to easily access content from around your internet. Showcases more for like if you've got a product or I actually quite like using these to help as a kind of simple navigation, especially if this is for frontline field workers who are using on tablets and they want basically really large buttons because actually all of this, this whole layer, these layers, this image and this text is all actually just one button. So it fills up the, the screen quite nicely. and makes it much easier to navigate and use it as a navigation bar. And then a volunteer center, which is typically used by nonprofits and charities and things like that. Um, but again, you could use it internally for um, organizing volunteer days, uh, charity fundraisers, things like that. Or if you just like the design, I, actually, this is one of my top favorite SharePoint template designs. i say it's got this kind of bar on the right hand side. We've got this. This is actually a hero link. It's actually exactly the same as what we looked at previously before in this showcase uh, template. But it only has just the one. It has just the one. Uh, whoops. It has just the one layer um, to it rather than the multiple layers. Then we've got these nice easy buttons to follow, um, some more quick links and things like that down here. But I really like this template, really like the design. The only thing I always try and make sure is I don't have a big empty bar down here. I don't think that looks particularly good. So hopefully you found that really useful uh, in terms of those kind of SharePoint uh, designs. If you need any help, professional services with SharePoint, um, I do help people setting up with SharePoint internet. So there's a link in the description below um, that you can contact me and there's a link in, the, in my bio as well. If you enjoyed the video, of course, like, subscribe to our channel for more SharePoint content. And if you've got any questions at all, you can drop them in the comments feed below. Thank you.